and welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Saturday, October 22nd. So that means it's time for my weekly roundup. And this is going to be part two because I had some snags. So I now realize I have to reach something that's on the other side of the camera. One second. Okay, so this week I have, okay, so weekly roundup is where we talk about any whips, uh, works in progress, or FOs, finished objects I have for the week, and just generally the week that I've had in crafting. This week I'm very, very, very excited. I finished my Gen Ivy Wild and Free Top. Ooh, Betty is modeling it for us, and it is more gorgeous than I could have hoped for. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you are not familiar with IVB Creates, please go check out her channel. Her and uh, Kelly from Kelly Creates are doing an event right now. They're both trying to get their community tabs, getting to the 500. So please go support them and check that out if you are interested. And you definitely want to get in on what Ivy makes. So this is, as I said, the Wild and Free Top uh, pattern will be linked down below. It is, I used three cakes of the Hobie Dahlia. It is... Uh, they're one of their 100% cotton cakes. I use the color Bluebell. Uh, I forget what color number it is. And I threw away the, the labels because I was cleaning out the bag. <laughs> and so I'm sorry. But yeah, it's Bluebell. And um, I used all three cakes because I wanted to make it tunic length. You certainly could have made it shorter. I'm also XL2X, so I wanted to make sure it was nice and roomy. Um... My starting chain, I used 110, and for this yarn, I used a 4 millimeter hook. I've definitely seen people use the Dahlia or Azalea yarns and a 4.5 or 5 millimeter hook, so I think that is an option. Um, but I really adore how this turned out. Um, the end needs to, to loose it a little bit so it is not quite so bunchy, but I don't think you can see that on the camera at all. But yeah, it's beautiful, it's twirly, it's awesome, and I will absolutely take some pictures and videos of myself wearing it. Once Betty lets me have it back. Naughty Betty. Although I think she's happy to have an outfit change. She wore that cowl for a long time. The other finished object I have is my shawl I've been working on. So this is the shawl. I used the Snuggly Wuggly yarn. It's... um. This color is violet, and this is a Loops and Threads uh, number three, DK. Um, the yarn calls for a four millimeter hook. I used a five millimeter hook, and that's just kind of what I prefer for three weights. And here it is. This is, as I said, the Spring Triangle Shawl. This is from uh, Hooked by Robin. This was a super fun make. It moves pretty quickly. Oh, I'm seeing an end. I still have to weave in. So I will weave that in and then finish it. This item I made for Mama G Gear for her event, whatever she wants to do with it. If she wants to use it as a giveaway, that's fine. If she wants to use it for any other purpose that she has in mind, feel free. So I will send you pictures and let me know. <laughs> this is all yours. Um, so I'm going to take this, put this with it so it can go with whomever gets it in the end. Um, so that's it for my finished objects. For my works in progress, I'm still doing the Unicorn, Unicorn Utopia Blanket with Ray. That's a collab we're doing. And there is a giveaway if anybody wants to get involved uh, we're just asking that you make unicorn-related, friendship-related items. If you want to trade them with someone, that's cool. If you don't, we understand. So we're both working to create kind of a, a giveaway item pool. And yeah, so send us pictures. Ray has a much better video on her channel to go check out. And I think I should make a standalone video talking about it again. So I'll put that on the calendar for next week. <laughs> Um, so for works in progress, I have finished a single square for my holiday cheer blanket. That's, um, a creative grandma tutorial pattern. 
Um, all three of those videos will be linked down below. I still have to weave in my ends. Um, but this one's done. So that makes it seven out of 35. I am 20% complete with these squares. Yay! Then I am also working on... Okay, so... Can I... Do you call this a spoiler? I'm still on clue one. I am not even halfway through clue one. So, spoiler alert if you're doing the MKL. Also, Slow Knitters Unite! Fist bump! If you too have not progressed super far in your make-along, I am right there with you. But I am plugging along and I really, really like how my colors are turning out. I think this is going to be lovely. And I'm not really worried about seeing spoilers for myself. So I've certainly seen how Clue 2 works up. And I think it's beautiful. I... I love the techniques used and yeah, so I will, I guess I love one of the techniques used. I am, I am not good at all at eye cords. So this is practice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am having so much fun with it. I'm glad I decided to do it. If you are a slow nander mate like me and you are, you are still stuck in clue one, don't worry about it. We're in this together and you just make at your own speed. We'll get there. We'll get there. And it will be beautiful. It will be just as beautiful whether it takes us four weeks or 12 weeks or 52 weeks. <laughs> it will get done and it will be beautiful. And my final project. Okay, so the, um, the spring triangle shawl I worked on. It was a very, very fun, just three row repeat. Very easy able to do, you know, kind of that, that mindless, you want to watch TV and do a project, you're, you know, you're not fully focused on the project. So I like to have a project to do while we're putting the kiddos to sleep. So I can sit in their chair and, you know, time to go to sleep, time to go to sleep, but I'm quiet. So they can settle down too. Um, so that was a perfect project. So I finished that project. I needed a new one. I thought it was going to be the holiday cheer blanket, but that's a lot of yarn to be hauling to the kids' room every night. So I need the smaller one. So, Bingo needs a cowl. So I started looking for cowls. And John Boy Crochet had a mini cowl tutorial, and I thought, how perfect. That is perfect. So that is what I've done. I have... Um, I still call it, oh, this matches my shirt perfectly. Oh, <laughs> that is cool. Okay, so I cast on his mini cowl. And this is, you're using uh, single crochets in the back loop and the herringbone stitch for that. And I think this will be so perfect. It is such a warm, kind of dense material. I think it'll be perfect for a little cowl for her through the winter. So for this, we had to go through... Um, I've been working at, uh, we put up the last of the shelves, I've got them all loaded, and then I've got a couple of boxes of yarn that, that have not fit up on the shelves. So we had to go through every one of the remaining boxes to find a suitable yarn for her that she picked. She ended up wanting this Red Heart with Love, this, um, I believe it's grape colored. Yep, Grape Jam colored Red Heart with Love. I got this from a Mary Maxim sale. Oh, a couple months ago. I believe it was like the $1.99 sale. It was very, very inexpensive. <laughs> and um, yeah, so she fell in love with it. So that's what she's getting. And obviously with a skein that size, the cowl is not going to take up all that yarn. So I might make it end up making her a matching hat to go with it. Maybe I'll make myself a hat or something. But there will be more projects out of that skein of yarn. And that is what I have in crafting items to show you. I do have a new car project. Um, last week I showed you I finished my circle vest. I moved my Stephen West Pearl Ridge scar scarf. It's kind of a scarf cowl type thing. That's now my car project, but of course it's down in my car. I've still got the cardigan I'm working on in the living room. Um, I am so close to splitting for the sleeves. So that'll be my next big show moment. And I'm always working on my temperature blanket. 
we'll see when that one gets done. <laughs> um, but I also wanted to share another package I got in the mail. You guys are spoiling me, spoiling me. Um, this was so kindly sent from Cindy and Robert from Pups and Crochet. So yeah, I got the package. It's right here. I'm going to try to be careful to make sure we don't reveal any addresses or private information. So let's see what they were kind enough to send along. Oh, oh, come on tape. Come on tape. Give it to me. Give it to me. And, oh, no, we're going to have to snip that. Let's snip it. Let's snip it. We got it. Oh, oh, there's another piece crossing it. That's why you don't want to release. Okay, so we're in. Let's see. Oh, there's tissue paper. There's tissue paper. Let's see. I'm excited. What did you guys do? Oh, look at this. Okay, I see. Yep, there's a little card here. Let's open the card first. <laughs> Excited! I love my exclamation points. I know it. Oh, <laughs> this is a hi, Aaron. Happy Purr Day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hope I love the choices I've made for your gift. Well, of course I will. You didn't have to send anything. And yes, I am also, it says, I'm so glad we found each other and became friends. I agree. I am so glad. The people I have met on this YouTube journey has just been phenomenal. I, I, I can't be happier. And hugs and puppy kisses. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to put this card. I'll put that with my other cards I've been keeping. And it looks like we've got some sport weight. I love this yarn. Oh, this is nice and soft. And this one, bright blue. Nice. And then we've got, oh, this is a very pretty green. What color is this green? It is called green. <laughs> you never know if it's going to be like shamrock green or kelly green or whatever. This is very pretty. I guess I should do some, some of the info on this. Sport, weight, made in Turkey, uh, color green. This is 2.5 ounces, 230 yards, 100% acrylic. They want four millimeter knitting needles and five millimeter crochet hook. That is awesome. I do like using the five millimeter crochet hook with thinner yarns. I think it makes it a lovely drape. So that's awesome. Ooh, this red. And it is red. There you go. And then there's, I see one more yarn in here. Pink. This is so pretty. Let me guess. Color pink. Indeed. Look at that. That's a lovely pink. Oh, I know Bingo's going to want that one. I think I could put all those together and make a lovely project. What else is in here, woman? Oh, some buttons. These are perfect. You always need buttons. Nice. Oh, and they're all different sizes. Some of the tiny ones and then the medium size and some big ones. Nice. And then, what's this? Oh, it's a llama. <laughs> it's a llama patch. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm going to have to think what to do with that. Oh, and then a, is there something in there? It's, this is rattling. So a little notions pouch, a little pouch with butterflies. Oh, that's so pretty. I love how shiny it is. <laughs> and then, oh, it's chock full. A yarnology little needle case. Put your needles in there. I like that. I like the little needle cases. Oh, and some needles. Always need more needles. Oh, and some of the teeny tiny um, hooks to help you when you've dropped a stitch. Stitch correctors. And then, what is a sewing kit? Oh, perfect. A snip is in here. That's cool. So it's got, it says it's got a tweezer, a snip, a threader, three pins, two buttons, two snaps, a safety pin, three needles, and assorted thread. I think I'm going to just throw this in my purse. You always need a little travel sewing kit. And then some thimbles. Nice. I've been using the finer metal 
um, knitting needles lately and they are poking me. Oh, look at these buttons. Oh, that is, those are just too perfect. Oh, that's going to go on something soon. I know it. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. And Robert. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you'd think this box was done, but it is not. She has put some fabric in. And it is, I see kittens. Oh, I see kittens. And it looks like there's a, uh, oops, 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 oops. Don't go on the floor. The pink tried to roll on the floor. That naughty, naughty pink. Um, it looks like a nativity manger scene on another one, which is so cute. Let's see. The baggie over there. We've got, yep, it looks like this will be great. Some quilting cottons in a manger scene. We've got the angels and oh, the little sheep sheepsies. I like it. And you got Mary and Joseph and the little baby, little baby Jesus. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. And then try to fold it back nicely. And then we've got the kitty meow. Oh, is this flannel? This feels flannel-y. Nice. I like using flannel for my quilt backings, especially it makes a nice, really warm thing. And I mix it with, um, for my quilt tops, I mix it with cotton all the time. I don't, <laughs> I don't care. Look at that. It says kitty purr meow. It's got all these fun hearts and kitty faces on it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. You did not have to send me a thing but I appreciate it so much and I will use all of it. I bet you I have got, so this is my flannel here behind me. I've got some that'll even match right with this. Okay. I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> I'm not going to do that now. Um, but thank you. Thank you, Cindy and Robert. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody for tuning in, for liking, for subscribing, for watching. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow.